In this video, I'd take, like to take a look at um, using your calculator to do uh, matrices and matrix manipulations. Uh, I have here a TI-84 plus uh, emulator on the computer here. So here's basically what I do. So first of all, let's take a look at the matrix menu. So second function of the inverse key here is matrix. Uh, there's three menus here within the the matrix menu, names, math, and edit. Okay. Names is where you, when you want to use a matrix, say I want to use matrix A, you just grab the name. Right? Um, if you want to do math with the matrix, then that, these are the different things that you can do. And of course, with the arrow right there, it means uh, we can, there's more, more that we can do. And the edit is when you're going to enter stuff into a matrix and that's what we need to do first so let's go to matrix a here it's already got a selected so let's just say enter at the moment it's saying i got a two by two matrix if i want to change this let's say yeah let's stick with two by two i'll do an example here in a minute so two by two just enter enter and then we can put in the things we want so i want one two three Four. It just works its way around. Now you can use the, the arrows to move around as well if you want to change something in a particular spot. Um, just move to the one you want, type in the new number you want. Hit enter. Okay. So now I've got matrix A as a two by two matrix. I can um, actually let's go and enter another matrix as well. So I'll go back to matrix, go over to edit, go down here to B and let's enter B also as a two by two matrix. So that was one, two, three, four was the last one. So let's do four, five, six, seven. Okay. Now I've got two matrices entered in there. Let's go to the home screen. So second function quit. And let's, let's say if I say matrix, I'm in the names, A is selected. I hit enter, so it pulls up A to that to the home screen. When I hit enter, it tells me what matrix A is. One, two, three, four. If I want to add the two together, I could say matrix A plus matrix B. So I'm going to move down one and select the B. And so there's A plus B. I hit enter, and it adds the two together. Oh. I meant to be, I meant B to be five, six, seven, eight, but I did four, five, six, seven. So sure enough, I was looking at this five here saying one plus five is not five, but one plus four is six and two plus five is seven. So, okay, so good, it added those up. Um, we could multiply them together and by multiplying them together, I think I just stick them next to each other, just like you would uh, the notation that you'd write it. So I can say, give me matrix A, and then give me matrix B. So written side by side, it means multiply and you hit enter and it should multiply them together. Okay, so that'll do that. Now we can also do like row echelon form or reduced row echelon form. So uh, let's, let's make A a little more exciting here. First of all, let's go up to matrix, move over. A is the one I use most often because it's the easiest one to grab when you're grabbing names. It's just the first one. Uh, so here we go. I'm going to edit matrix A. I'm now going to make it a three by four matrix. And we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, one, two. Anyway, there's a three by four matrix. And you know, it doesn't take very long to enter stuff in here. When I actually have my, my handheld calculator, I can enter even faster than when I was just clicking in here. Um, anyway, let's uh, go to the home screen. Now on the home screen, what I want to do is I'm going to go to matrix, move over to math. 
sorry, move over to math and then move down to A and B here are row echelon form and reduced row echelon form. So if I grab row echelon form here and enter, then I'll get to say what matrix I want. So go to matrix under names, just enter, it gives me A and enter and it gives me the reduced row echelon form of matrix a what was matrix a again uh actually two things i want to do first sometimes when i get these things these these decimal expansions i like to see them as fractions so then i just say math and the first thing under math is to fraction so if i hit enter it's going to be answer to fraction and it gives me that matrix in fraction form now, I don't know, we'll look at matrix A again here. Matrix A, enter. So notice here on the row echelon form, this is not the row echelon form I would have gotten if I had done it by hand, because with a one already in that upper left-hand corner, I would have just left the first row alone and started changing the second and third rows to get them to work. But look at the first row that they have up here. One, zero, one, nine, two, nine. So it's like, what? Somehow what the algorithm did to get row echelon form is it took the third row and divided it by nine and then moved that up to the first row. Or maybe it moved it up to the first row first and then divided by nine. But whatever, that first row is the third row divided by nine. Why did the algorithm do that? Um, I believe the the reason is for minimizing errors. Um, if you get the chance, take the course. Um, all you engineers probably have to take it anyway. It's called um, numerical methods or something like that. Um, I sat in on it one year, so I learned quite a bit about uh, what uh, what the algorithms are doing, trying to make real applications of the math that we're doing uh, and so anyway there's how does how does it calculate what's the program that that does reduce row echelon form or row echelon form and somehow it looks for the biggest number it needs to deal with first and and then deals with that and so somehow it that minimizes errors i don't know but row echelon form is not unique so this is a row echelon form for that matrix you could also find others reduced row echelon form on the other hand is unique. So if I went and said, give me the reduced row echelon form. Oops, I didn't move over to edit. No, I don't want to edit. I want math. So I want reduced row echelon form of matrix A. And then it gives me the reduced row echelon form. So you should feel free to use your calculator to do a lot of the arithmetic and this row reduction stuff. Um, make sure you know how to do it by hand, but for the bulk of just getting through the homework and then moving on to bigger and better concepts, I mean, if you know how to do it, that's fine. Let your calculator do it for the most part. Right? So there you go. There's some uh, using of the calculator for matrix manipulations.